would like to welcome everyone to the 2007 Bill Hunt conference call. All lines will be placed on mute to prevent any background noise. After the speaker's remarks, there will be a question and answer period. If you would like to ask a question during that time, please press star, followed by the number Don't one. Me, yeah. Kevin, you want to go ahead? Thank you very much, um, and, uh, and welcome. Uh, as Maria F. said, uh, my name is Kevin Stringer. I'm the Director General of Resource Management, the Director General de Ressources uh, uh, Pêche et Océans, uh, dealing with the management of Canada's domestic fisheries and marine mammals. I'm going to make a few remarks, some opening comments about today's announcement and about the conduct of the harp seal hunt. Uh, and I'll ask my colleague from science, uh, Mike Hamill to make some remarks as well following mine, and we're both prepared to answer uh, any questions people may have to the best of our ability. The tax for this year is 270,000 animals. Uh, this is down from last year's tax of 335,000, a decrease of 65,000 animals. The reason for the decrease is twofold. First, when we met the seal industry in January and when we met with conservation groups and others, uh, in sessions over the past few months, we talked about the need to bring the total allowable catch, or the TAC, TAC, down to keep the herd healthy and abundant. We've been examining closely the ice conditions, and we've been doing daily overflight to see where the seals are and what the herd looks like. I can confirm that we continue to see significant numbers of seals uh, in that area. Uh, we are concerned about the, uh, the, the ice conditions, as I said, uh, and it's very difficult to, uh, in a flyover, to come uh, to any significant, serious estimations about how many there are there at 330 uh, uh, kilometers an hour. Uh, but there are significant numbers that, that we hit that uh, our folks have seen. It's good that they're admitting the increased mortality down here, but we flew over where they said they were flying and looking. and. Like they won't give a number of how many seals we saw, but we were out there. We saw there's not even hundreds of seals out there. And opening, opening this hunt and letting the hunters go up to the area where there are seals left is just going to wipe out what, what seals did manage to survive this year. It's ridiculous. Well, what are we saying? I mean, they were saying on the call that they were taking a precautionary approach. They were consciously taking a precautionary approach in the situation. What do you think about that? Again, like their idea of a precautionary approach is not what we would call a precautionary approach at all. It's not their idea of a precautionary approach is we'll overexploit now, and then when it gets too bad, well maybe we'll do something. They will reduce it. Yeah, like that's what they did with yeah. the other fisheries, and look what happened. So. Yeah.